Well, Eric, two weeks ago on Sunday night, you and I and Scott Davenport and Tom Lane were in the studio, and we all predicted Miami, Florida Atlantic, UConn, and San Diego State in the Final Four. How did we know that? <laughs> I hope somebody's burned that tape. I haven't seen the video yet. Uh, I don't remember who it was, but I seem to recall having Arizona somewhere in there, and where they were gone right away. And uh, they weren't the only ones. Purdue, you know, it, just pretty amazing. And and it, the, the great thing about this tournament is that the upsets did not stop. They just kept on going right up until here we are at the Final Four and the highest-seeded team is a four-seed. Am I right about that? And you yes. you've got the, you know, the glamour side of the bracket in UConn and Miami. You've got the, the other side of the bracket in San Diego State and Florida Atlantic, and I don't recall anything quite like it. You got two schools 48 miles apart in South Florida, that hotbed of college basketball, Miami, that once eliminated its program and then brought it back. Florida Atlantic, the school that we only know from Howard Schnellenberger starting a football program there and plays in a gym that is smaller than New Albany or Jeffersonville High Schools in Indiana. We have a baseball school in San Diego State that produced Tony Gwynn and Steven Strasburg. And we have the one legitimate heavyweight, which is UConn, which has won four national titles, going for its fifth, which would tie them with Indiana for the most, uh, uh, third or fourth most in NCAA tournament history. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. The UConn's the favorite, which means they're in big trouble. Yeah, they are in big trouble, but they, you cannot argue with how they're playing. They are just mowing everybody down. Miami finds a way to win. They are, they're just been brilliant. And what can you say about San Diego State? You watched them live here in Louisville for two games. You you know, and, and Florida Atlantic is legit. They're not just a team coming in to compete. Any one of these four can win it. Uh, college football, take note. This is how you, you disrupt the system. We talk a lot about disruptors. This Final Four is a disruptor. You got a winner? Um, you know, I'm probably going to pull for Florida Atlantic because the local connection, Dusty May, Grew up in, in southern Indiana and was an IU basketball student manager. So I'll, I'll go Florida Atlantic. There we go. I'm on a, I'm going chalk because, you know, that's been a good way to go in this tournament. <laughs> Give it to UConn. We'll have a lot more right. about college basketball. We're following the Louisville women and what they've got going on. And, and uh, of course, this Final Four. You can read all about that at our website, WDRB.com. Go there and click on sports.